Here we are in section 3-2, exercises 7 through 10, word problems. I was able to drive 350 miles on 15 gallons of gas. So 350, that's miles per 15 gallons. Okay, we're going to be timesing it by something, I'm sure. If gas costs $3.10 per gallon, so remember we'll write $3.10 per gallon, or we might write one gallon for three dollars and ten cents could be one of either one of those how many miles can i drive per dollar so we're trying to get miles per dollar that's what we're trying to get here miles per dollar so in that case miles is going to stay the same and we have to times it by something that gets rid of gallons but puts dollars on the bottom so we need that one one gallon for three dollars and ten cents okay so we can see when we multiply, cancel, cancel. We're going to end up with miles per dollar. Great. So we have 350 divided by 15. I think we could simplify this just a little bit. Let's divide top and bottom by a 5. That'll get that to be a 3 and that to be a 70. Uh, good. Okay. So 70 divided by 3. Yep. Okay. I can't see another simplification going on there. So we'll do that's going to be 70 divided by uh, 3 times 3.10. 3.10, let's times it by 3. See what that number is. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Two decimal places, 9.3. So we're going to take 70 divided by 9.3. Uh, let's write that out. 70 divided by 9.3. Move the decimal there. Move the decimal one more. So we actually get 93 divided into 700 and we may have some decimals here okay so 93 goes into 7 no 70 no 9 goes into 70 uh what is that seven times let's try seven times let's see how close we get seven times three is 21 carry a two seven times nine is 63 plus that two is a 65 Oh, it looks like we got pretty close. So subtract so 6, 9, 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. 6 minus 6 is 0. Okay, 4, 9, and then drop the 0 down. So here's a decimal point. 9 goes into 49, I would say, about 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 9 is 45, plus that 1 is a 46. Uh, borrow, 10 minus 5 is 5, 8 minus 6 is 2, and then drop the 0 down here. So 9 goes into 25, uh, 2 times, not quite 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 9 is 18, subtract those. Um, let me see, so we have a 4 and 10, 10 minus 6 is 4, 4 minus 8, nope, 1, 14 minus 8 is 6, and then drop the 0 down here, 640, 9 goes into that about 7 times, ooh, but sometimes we better do 6, well, that gives us enough, 6 times 3 is 8, carry the 1, 54, 55, yep, okay, so the reason I went out to here is so I would know that if I leave it at the hundredths place, it would be a three. So that is 7.53 miles per dollar. Now I could have stopped right there and said 7.5 miles per dollar. You could stop anywhere, but remember you always have to go one place further than where you send the answer back. So you know if you are rounding up or down. Okay, next one. Number eight, how much does it cost to run 800 watts? So here's 800 watts. Uh, 15 hours, so we're timesing by 15 hours. So it's not 800 watts divided by 15 hours, it's 800 watts times 15 hours uh, per month. Okay, here's per month. Uh, and the company charges 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So 0.13 dollars per kilowatt hour or a kilowatt hour for 13 cents. Now notice we're trying to get cost. How much does it cost per month? 
Okay, so this is, we want to get dollars per month. Look, we're pretty good here. So we are going to get use this one right here where it has the dollars on top. So that's dollars, 0.13 per kilowatt hour. And notice what happens. Oh, no, we can't, we got to change this into kilowatts. So we need to use this guy right here. We need to times by, we'll put it over here, 1,000 watts for one kilowatt. Now I chose that because it puts the, cancels the watts, the watts, and it puts the kilowatts here. So this one will be the easiest one to do. 800 divided by 1,000. Remember, dividing by 1,000, you go 1, 2, 3. So that's 0 0.8. And then you'll notice the kilowatts cancel the kilowatts, and the hours cancel the hours. So we have 0 0.8 times 15 times 0.13. So this 800 divided by 1,000, that's just 0 0.8. So 0 0.8 times 15 times 0.13. So let's do that. 0 0.8 times 15. 8 times 5 is 0. Carry the 4. 8 times 1 is 12 plus 4. I'm sorry, 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 is 12 with one decimal place. So it's a 12.0. And we're going to times it by 0.13. So let's get rid of that. And then 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. And then put a 0. And 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. So we get 6, 5, 1. Sorry about that. I ran out of room. 156 with two decimal places. 1.56. And then what did we just figure out? Oh, it costs $1.56 per month to run a microwave. Wow. That's actually pretty cheap. If you think about cooking, how much food you can cook in there. If you used it for 15 hours in a month, a lot of popcorn. All right, number nine. 24 foot rope for $7. That's 24 feet per $7. And uh, not equals. We're going to times it by something. And we're going to end up with how many inches per dollar. So notice dollars are already on the bottom. We have to turn feet into inches. So we're going to time something that gets rid of feet, cancels it. So we've got to put it on the bottom and inches remaining on the top. Yeah, we know this one. How many inches per foot? 12 inches for one foot. So if we times it, we can tell that's going to go very well like that. So we have 24 times 12 and we have to divide by 7. Can we simplify anything here? I don't think so. So let's do 24 times 12. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, move down to the second one. 0. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Add them, and we get 288. So now we have 288 divided by 7. 288 divided by 7. 7 goes into 28 4 times. 4 times 7 is 28. Subtract, and we get 0. Bring down the 8. 7 goes into 8 once. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, we get 1. Ooh, if we do a decimal or 2 here, um, bring down the 0. 7 goes into 10 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract, and we get a 3. Drop down a 0. 7 goes into 34 times. I don't know, how many decimals should we do? We could keep going forever. Put another one on there. Um, that's 28, subtract, we get a 2, 0, 7 goes into 20 twice, that's 14, and so on and so forth. Well, here if we've gone three decimal places, we can know that we can round appropriately and put that we have 41.14 inches per dollar. And if we wanted to stop right there, it would have been 41.1, we could have rounded at the nearest tenth. Okay, number 10. Tile costs $2.50 per square foot. S square foot. Um, and we need to have, how much is that? So that's a dollar. How much is that per square yard? So we need to times by something that has square feet on the top and square yards on the bottom. 
How many square feet per square yard? Nine square feet for one square yard. Oh, that one looks pretty quick. We cancel that, and there's just times those two together. So 2.5 times 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. One decimal place, we have $22.50 per square yard.